Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Chase on Two Wheels here for another Chase on Two Wheels first ride. We're at Mountain Motorsports in Roswell. Mountain does not sell these, but you guys know my first ride out is always the same. We always start at Mountain Roswell. By the way, if you click in the link down below, if you're looking for a motorcycle, it'll take you to a Mountain Motorsports page where you can get a discount thanks to me. You're welcome. Uh, but... Uh, guys, Polaris was nice enough to let us borrow a slingshot for a little while. So today we are doing the first ride on it. This is uh, their newest model, the 2021, I believe. We have a key fob. It is a manual shift. We've got heated and cooled seats. I'm not good manually shifting a car, so this is going to be really exciting. Uh, we've I rode one of these years ago. This is a slingshot R. I don't know what the difference is, um, but that's what we're looking at, boys. Got a belt-driven, uh, two-seater, three wheels. This should be a really fun time. We'll go ahead and put that in there. I got to I gotta tell you guys, I do not have a lot of experience riding manual cars or driving manual cars, so please, you can save your comments. I know I'm not good at shifting. I'm not good at the paddles. It's okay. But... Let's get uh, let's get this thing going, guys. Make sure to hit that like button for Chase doing three-wheel vehicle stuff. And uh, I'll show you guys how you have to turn it on or crank it up. Hopefully, the seating or this GoPro view looks good. Clutch in, brake in. Boom. We are cranked up. We are in neutral. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get it started. Right. So that's what it looks like guys. That's what it sounds like Let's get this beast rolling. We are seat belting up uh, Fun facts We got ride command over here. Uh, fun facts. You do need to wear a helmet. I think in most states for this motorcycle uh, Looks like we got a lot of stuff over here. Is that traction control off? We've got our hazards That's a little light. We've got a little plug-in thing down here, which is cool. Oh, I don't know what that does. Interesting. Okay, so we got our little GPS thing here. That's neat. So you could play around with this thing for days, I imagine. We've got all these controls. So you can hook your phone up for Bluetooth and stuff. You know, you, you can do all types of stuff here. Obviously, I don't want to copyright strike on my video, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, all right, guys. Let's get this thing going. Let's uh, Let's try this thing out. Opportunity taken. Cool. All right. Woohoo! Need my visor down so I can get some good audio for you guys. What's up, motorcycle man? <laughs> I got a wave from our R3. Hell yeah! Number one thing about the slingshot is you get waves from people in motorcycles, and that kind of makes sense, right? We're as a motorcyclist, you're out in the elements. As somebody in the slingshot, you're out in the elements. So it's kind of like this mutual respect of like, hey man. If it's hot outside, I feel hot. If it's cold outside, I feel cold. But one thing that Slingshot has over a motorcycle is heated and cooled seats. 
and I was looking at this, there's buttons underneath this seat, and if you hit the middle one, it turns it on. Let me shift before I blow the bike up, or blow whatever the hell it says up. You turn it on by the middle button, and the left button should be cool, I think. So right now my seat should be getting cool. That's pretty awesome. So guys, uh, we're in the slingshot. This is this is it. We are low to the ground. Can you guys see this? This is a regular car. I'm my butt feels like I am about to scrape butt on the ground. Uh, you are super low, but it kind of matches this vibe that you you are getting in this slingshot. Like I feel. <laughs> I, I always I think of that TikTok uh, where, that my wife shows me that it goes I'm fast as f boy. That's what you feel like in this because you're so low to the ground. This thing has all these aggressive lines and stuff like that. It's a uh, that's kind of the vibe I'm getting. Also, uh, just to let you guys know when Polaris reached out, they said if I did I want the paddle shifters or the manual. I just want credit for being like you know what i suck at driving a manual vehicle but i would like the manual option please i could have bitched out and i could have got paddle shifters and i didn't and i want credit for that so give me credit in the comments thank you very much love you long time i gotta be honest cockpit wise i think it's kind of cool this does kind of cut my eyesight like my eye looking straight this cuts it right in the middle so i don't really love that I, I wish I had either unobstructed or I, I don't know you know I'm, I'm sure this does some sort of wind stuff we'll test that on the highway but uh yeah I kind of don't like if I wanted to unobstructed view I have to lift my head up it seems like it revs really fast like I'm I barely get up to like 15 and I'm already at a at a rev lev level where I feel like I don't want to be revving the hell out of the thing so I feel like I need to shift so the uh the gears seem kind of short I'd kind of prefer a taller first gear if I'm gonna be honest so as far as the seating position I, I guess I, I'll talk about the seating position it's got adjustable seats the back adjusts and the you can go forward and back the steering wheel is adjustable so you have a lot of adjustability here in the the cockpit for lack of a better word uh, which makes it you know you can make it as comfortable as you want I find it relatively comfortable I've got it in a pretty good spot uh, granted, I've got it a little farther back um, because, you know, I don't know how my GoPro is going to work in here. So if the shot looks kind of weird, I apologize, guys. But, you know, we don't typically shoot. Uh, <laughs> this isn't Chase on Three Wheels, so we don't typically shoot Polaris slingshots. I don't know if you guys comment on manual gearboxes for cars. Like, can they feel good or bad? Like, this one seems to, like, as long as I push the clutch in enough... It gets into gear fine. I don't know if that's a regular thing. It doesn't take a lot of energy over here. So I'm not sure if that's a thing you judge in a car or if that's more like, you know, up to the driver. But I've had no problem shifting and I'm not really, a, you know, a, a, a guy that drives this kind of stuff very often. So I guess that's a testament. Ooh, skipping that rear wheel, boy. Look how, oh, so that's a regular size SUV, Ford Explorer, right? Look at me, look at them. My head comes to the top of where their tire is. So that's just an example of how low you are to the ground with this thing. But I gotta be honest, man. I don't really know, like I, I would never like take something like this to a track, but being this low to the ground really gives you a sense of speed like you feel like you're going so much faster than you actually are um which is kind of cool right like if you're feeling like you're going faster than you actually are then it, it could incentivize you to not go as fast i'm also uh i'm also realizing i feel like this thing is pretty wide i guess that's one of the negatives of it being so low is that uh with these big fender flares it's kind of hard to judge. Like I can see this wheel easy, but it's kind of hard to judge where I am in the in the street over there. I feel like I'm kind of like taking up the whole lane. You know what I mean? Like obviously I'm not. Like can I, can I get next to a white line? No, I can't. But I'm like, look how much space I have there, and it looks like I have plenty of space there. But it gives this feeling of like I'm super wide. I will say, like, looking around, fit and finish on everything looks pretty good. 
everything's kind of solid looks like it's uh in a good spot the the slingshot we had a few years ago not a few years probably a couple years ago um that slingshot it didn't feel like it had all of its t's dotted and i's cued you know what i'm saying but yeah it just seemed like it was a little rough around the edges for a final product that people are going to be buying so it is good to see that this has a lot more fit and finish i am uh i am appreciating that for sure i mean these these vehicles are not cheap guys you're looking at you know spending in the 20s or 30s to get something like this and that's a lot of money to spend so you i would expect if somebody was going to spend that kind of money I would expect them to get a lot more, you know, compared to that old slingshot. But this one looks like it's actually in a good spot. Oh, that's cool. I can shoulder check in a in a vehicle. I'm not used to that. There we go, boy. Oh, the steering's kind of weird. The steering is... All right, so doing like this is fine. But if I kind of aggressively get in the left lane... Hold on. Ooh, <laughs> it's a little strange. I don't know if I like it or not. It's kind of, how do I explain this? Uh, the steering is kind of like you steer and then the rear kind of follows you, if that makes sense. Like, I kind of feel like I'm like, ah! that make that probably makes no sense to anybody. But yeah, I'm turning in. And then it feels like the rear is like, oh, are we turning in? It's like a slight delay for when the rear goes. So I steer, the thing gets in a position, and then goes in that direction. I hope that makes sense, but it's kind of strange. It's a, I, I'm very interested to what it's going to be like on the highway. And uh, before we get on the highway, we get to talk about the modes. Because there are modes here, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to get this open because it is warm today. And I want to see if the seat will cool down more. So, there is something called slingshot mode. You push this red button, it's in slingshot mode. Alternatively, you can press that gear, put it in slingshot mode. You guys can see it'll shift back and forth. Um, supposedly, the throttle response is, or the, like the, the acceleration is supposed to be a little more exaggerated or you know pure in slingshot mode so we'll see what that's all about here on the highway we'll do a little highway run but I, I'm, I'm very interested to see what this steering's like honestly and the wind you're right we're open we're out in the we're out in the elements also I can tell my seat is getting cool and that's awesome I feel like this vehicle just came out of a of a house or something and a, or a garage that was cooled all right we're in third, we'll shift to fourth. On your mark, get set, go. <laughs> so it's not a motorcycle. Oh, I don't like this at all. I do not like going fast in this at all. Oh my goodness. I could tell the rear did something weird. I don't know if the tire was spinning out, but there was something like the rear felt weird when I like gassed it when I full pedaled it also this wind is hitting me directly in the eyeballs now I've got my visor shut but it's kind of jostling my head around let's steer some yeah that steering's the same here on the highway too that's weird dude I don't know if it's because of the single rear tire or what but directional changes are just strange I don't have the voc the proper vocabulary to really tell you guys what it feels like the guys have told me that have been riding it around said it feels like a jet ski and unfortunately I don't have a lot of experience with a jet ski either but it's very like you turn and it's like wah, wah. you know what I mean like watch wah. and then I have to steer back to get us going in back the right direction. Yeah, this thing does not feel good on the highway, man. There's a lot of wind buffeting on my helmet, my head's shaking. I uh, I do not like this on the highway at all. So that kind of takes it out of being some sort of like long distance vehicle. You would not want to take this on a vacation or something like that. 
I just don't think that's what this is made for. You know, you're not racing this thing. Yeah, I mean, okay, cool, now we know, but not a fan. Not a fan of that at all. Oh, that rear gets so unsettled. If I downshift, look at that, the whole thing just shakes. Oh, that's, that's, uh, this is not a performance machine. There's just that. Obviously, we're in a turn. We got three wheels. Not a big problem. We don't have traction issues, uh, at least in the front. But we do have that traction control button. And I can go ahead and tell you guys, when you don't have that traction control button turned off, when you have that button turned off and you don't have traction control on, you might as well be driving on ice. This thing is a psychopath when it comes to transmission or trans traction. Traction. When it comes to traction, it don't like it. It's not traction and slingshots are not friends they didn't go to the same college together they're not buddies we're still in slingshot mode especially oh god if you put this thing in slingshot mode just please jesus keep the traction control on so you can stay alive because otherwise it's gonna be a rough time for you i want to i want to punch it real quick just to see if we can get traction control going <laughs> it ain't slow it's definitely not slow but you know we're used to riding motorcycles on this channel so i would have to be in a really fast car to be like oh man they're so fast so uh before we get into anything else guys in the camera car what do you guys think about this thing uh i think slingshot looks pretty good i haven't gotten to drive it this time but uh uh, it definitely looks like a, like a like it's a ton of fun for sure, um, and it's a head turner. I've noticed a lot of people uh, just going down the road, kind of can't keep their eyes off the thing. It's definitely a bizarre, interesting vehicle. So I have had a chance to uh, drive that thing around a little bit, and it is uh, a ton of fun to drive that thing around. It is absolutely a head turner. When you're in it, it's like uh, all eyes on you. So. Uh, you know, be mindful not to stall it in the middle of traffic because everybody's watching. So guys, we've assessed that the slingshot is not necessarily a performance machine. I just put it back in comfort mode uh, for, to finish this video up, but I don't think the slingshot is built to be a performance machine, obviously. Like, you're, it's not meant to to be the thing that you buy this and you go to track days and you go up to the mountains and you ride hard and maybe you go to the mountains but you don't you're not pushing this vehicle i don't think it i don't think that's what this thing is i think this thing is just a super novelty product that you buy if you want to have something super unique on the road um i can tell you guys that riding this thing around I've never gotten more attention in something than, than this slingshot. People look at it and you know, like most people don't know what the hell they're looking at. These guys have no clue that you're not in some crazy exotic vehicle that costs like upwards of $100,000. You know, like, I think these things just like I say, go for around uh, 30,000 if I remember. So like you're talking about a nice car price to have this, but somebody riding around in a mercedes that cost sixty thousand dollars comparative to somebody riding around in a slingshot you are going to get looked at different because well for one you're going to get looked at period people aren't really going to look at you in a mercedes people are going to look at you riding in a slingshot so if your goal is to get a vehicle that's super unique that's fun to drive this thing is is fun as hell to drive would i take it to go get my groceries or to run errands and stuff if it was tiny sure it's way more fun than a vehicle but you're also going to have all of the elements of riding a motorcycle. You're going to have, hey, is it raining? Well, you're probably not going to want to take the slingshot. Not that you can't, but you're probably not going to want to because then your bread's going to get soggy. And nobody likes soggy bread unless you're eating a French dip. But yeah, guys, are you going to want this to be your grocery getter? I don't know, dude. You, you can't carry stuff. Now, I will say there are compartments behind the seats and we have this glove box that's all of the uh, storage capacity that you have on a slingshot. There's not a lot. And that's one of the reasons I call this thing, you know, this just kind of like have fun vehicle because like other than having fun, 
it doesn't really have a purpose, you know? If you're gonna, if you want like a uh, performance machine, you're gonna have to spend a lot more money if you want a, a, a fast car, or you're gonna have to spend a little less money and get a motorcycle. You know what I mean? Like that's that's kind of the, what is that shirt, my guy? That shirt's not gonna do nothing for you. So this the slingshot is just this really weird machine, man. You gotta have a spare thirty grand to buy it. And then when you buy it, it's literally like your little fun toy. You know what I mean? It, it, the, it, it doesn't cr have a crazy purpose. That being said, I've seen guys spend way more money on way more pointless stuff uh, than this for, you know, triple the money. So I just realized something running over that. I just thought of something. One of the negatives with this is you got two tires in the front, right? And then you got the center rear tire. If there's ever like anything on the road, you kind of have to hit it. There's, you've probably got like a one inch margin between the front wheels and where the rear wheel is to be able to dodge things. So, you know, if you're trying to hit a, miss a pothole or something, bro, you're, you're probably gonna hit the pothole. <laughs> traction control my fam oh that was awesome that traction control is going nuts but that's what it's supposed to be right this is supposed to be a vehicle that you buy you turn traction control off and you go be a hoon it's this strange thing and now if you guys that aren't familiar with the the three-wheeled space the three-wheeled space is the bridge between motorcycles and cars so over here, we have two-wheeled motorcycles. We all know what two-wheeled motorcycles are, right? Now, you have cars on the far left end. If you move slightly to the left from motorcycles, you have a Can-Am. Can-Ams are, you know, you're gonna be sitting up top, you have handlebars, and uh, you're gonna be much more motorcycle focused, but same situation, it has two front tires, one rear tire. But you're more motorcycle than car, but you have closer to the amount of car wheels. Uh, but then, in between Can-Am and... <laughs> oh, that's why you buy this! Okay, anyway, sorry. Woo, moving on. So, if you go from motorcycle, you go to Can-Am. And if you want to go from Can-Am to car, there's this middle slingshot area. You have a steering wheel, you're sitting in a seat, you're inside the vehicle, far closer to a car than a motorcycle, right? Far more closer to a car than a motorcycle. Uh, but, and then you're right next to car. You get over to car, you got four wheels, you're inside, all this kind of stuff. So the motorcycle, the K&M, and the slingshot, all of those, you are exposed to this, the elements. If it's raining outside, you're getting rained on. If it's hot outside, you're probably going to be hot. There's no air conditioning here. They do have the seat, though, which is cool as shit. I'm, I've got the cooled seats on, and literally, it's hot out, uh, and I'm cool. My butt's cool. My back's cool. I'm really digging that. Um, I can imagine if it was slightly colder outside, the heated seats would be phenomenal. And one thing that's really neat about that is it's going to increase your seasonality of being able to ride this. So... For those people that go are going from a car to something like a slingshot, you're going to realize, depending on your area, that certain parts of the year, you want to ride a lot more. So in a car, you don't care, right? If it's raining, okay. If it's hot, okay. You got you got AC. If, you, it's, if it's cold, you got AC. You, know, you can control the temperature over, over on the car side. But here, if it's hot outside and you're riding around stuck in traffic and you got this helmet on, you're gonna get hot, dude. You're, you're not gonna be enjoyable. I just went over a little road um, indicator and I threaded that thing. It didn't hit the front tire and it didn't hit the rear tire. So, nope, hit that one. Oh, I missed that one too, ha <laughs> ha. Um, but like I was saying, you, you're you going to be introduced into seasonality riding. It's, it's not always very nice to ride, but I could totally see somebody getting one of these and getting used to that cool feeling of because you know I, I know some cars are like convertibles and they can you know you can be exposed but you have that option of of closing it i i personally think that 
if you have a convertible that doesn't count as you being exposed to the elements because you can turn the elements off and that's bullshit if you want to be truly exposed to the elements you have to be like this there is no roof there's no top i can put on this if i'm riding this i am saying you know what i'm here for the elements let's do that thing so i can see somebody getting one of these and i gotta be honest guys you guys know i ride more i ride motorcycles more than i do cars this this kind of vibe i like i prefer to be out in the elements yeah sometimes you know in the winter time when i'm uh, commuting to work it's cold as shit and i have to wear more clothes to work if it's in the summertime i have to make a clothing choice to make myself more comfortable while i'm riding i kind of prefer that it makes it more interesting to drive and ride around and i could see somebody getting one of these and being exposed to the elements for the first time and i could totally see that sending them down a path of you know i kind of like this i'm out in the open i'm one with what's going on i could kind of see them getting a slingshot and maybe in the future maybe getting a motorcycle or at least considering a motorcycle more than they would have once they realize how cool it is to be out in the elements like if i was at a stop sign and somebody threw me a bottle of water i could catch it <laughs> you know what i mean i know that's a random analogy but it is what it is it's a cool feeling for you guys that haven't ridden yet or uh, maybe you've never, you've only driven cars and you haven't experienced that. It's pretty cool. And uh, I would be interested to know what it feels like for somebody experiencing it for the first time. And guys, it seems like we are here at our little church parking lot. So we're gonna pull in here, take a little walk around. Ooh, that rear does not like it when I don't rev match. Holy cow. It just kind of, woo. The rear of this thing's like a fishtail. It's just wigging or, wiggling around all the time. That could be the tire. The tire that we have looks uh, trashed. So, not only do we have a motor, or, not a motorcycle. Not only do we have a vehicle that is staged to have not a lot of traction in the rear, but we also have a, uh, a rear tire that's uh, let's call it less than optimal. All right, parking brake on and push to start off. Let's check this thing out. All right, guys, here we are. Now, obviously, you guys have been looking at this thing with the camera car footage, but check out the paint job. I don't know if you guys can see it. Look at all the purling blue in the black. They got the purling blue and the gray. I love this blue uh, like paint chip look inside the gray. I think uh, if, you're, if you're far back, you don't really notice it. But if you get closer, you start noticing it, and you're like, oh, snap, looking cool. I think it's a slick ride, man. And obviously a lot of people think that because you get so many looks when you're riding this thing around. People are just staring, man. And look at that. If you didn't know, like a lot of you guys probably know because, you know, we're here. This is an automotive channel. Like we're focused on stuff like that. We know what this thing is. But if you didn't, look, if you didn't know, dude, you're looking at this. You're looking at these like really aggressive body lines. And you're like, bro, what is that? It's got this weird logo that most people don't know. You know, you don't know that that ain't some, like, exotic brand. It's neat. It's, <laughs> look at the rear tire. It's literally on the uh, indicator. <laughs> Which is why we have no traction back there. It is cool that the rear shock is kind of attached and open. Rear shock matches. Uh, the rear swing arm has this blue that matches that. I like the lights on it. I like the rear... I think they've done a phenomenal job hiding the uh, backup camera that it has because it does have a backup camera. So when you put it in reverse, you get a little backup camera on the screen. I think that's neat as heck, man. Also, so these seats, you saw that the heated and cooled thing. I don't know if I can show you guys on the GoPro, but yeah, I can't get my head down there. But there's little buttons right here. There's a power button, a cold button to the left, and a heat button to the right. Um, and I think that's going to be awesome for people that need seasonality of it. Such a cool bike. Um, or not bike. What do you call this? What is the... It's not a bike. It's not a car. What do you call it? All right, guys. So it's time for Instagram. If you guys aren't following us over on Instagram, it's at c 2 pics. We always post our... You can't even see this thing. is so tiny. Boop. We might have to take a different shot. This thing doesn't really... Yeah, that's... Oh, that's such a better shot. Holy crap. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Boom. If you guys aren't following us over on Instagram, we would love you to. Uh, you can uh, follow us at C2Dub Picks. We post 
every first try we do, we post a photo on Instagram, so make sure to go over there and like this one if you're watching it. And we also post some behind-the-scenes photos of whatever we're up to in the shop. We always got something going on. Oh, wait, there we go. You can see the, you can see the heat and cool button now. That's cool. <sighs> All right, guys. I'm going to get back on this thing and see if we can roast this tire some more. <laughs> Just kidding. I don't, I'm not good enough to even roast this tire. So I do want to say um, I've noticed that this thing has a lot of speakers all over the place. Speaker, 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 speaker. I imagine that this thing could get loud. Now, like I told you guys, I'm not going to be doing that. I, uh, <laughs> If you guys don't know here on YouTube, if you play anything that's not music that you own, you you get copyright strike. Oh, you know what? Let me show you. Let me show you guys the backup camera. So just a typical backup camera. Uh, if you move the wheel, these do not adjust. So you have to kind of like judge for that. But you know, having the little things like having that at all helps. It's cool that you can look over your shoulder, but it is hard to see behind you. As you guys can tell, we've got the rearview mirrors, but we don't have a center mirror like a lot of cars would have. So stuff to keep in mind. Uh, but we are gonna head on out of here. Ah! Don't stall, Chase! You've somehow made it this entire video without stalling. You have to continue that. Alright guys, so as we uh, wrap this slingshot first ride up, I kinda wanna talk about who I feel like this vehicle is for. So, like I said, you don't have to have the manual option. We chose that because I wanted to be a manly man about it. But this thing does come with paddle shifters. Uh, there's a, it's an optional paddle, paddle shifter thing and it's also an automatic, so you can change it from paddle shifting to automatic. I think um, if I were to buy one, I would probably get the one with paddle shifters. I could imagine this thing would be way more fun. It'd be like, I think I would personally have a better time with that. But I do kind of like the, I like, uh, advancing my knowledge of how to how to drive a manual vehicle because I don't get that opportunity very often but uh, yeah I think the paddle shifter one would be my personal choice so the person that's gonna buy this thing you know I, I don't I don't think it's a motorcyclist for sure because motorcycles are you know they solve their own problem I think this is kind of a just a fun little vehicle for you to have that you know, obviously it's thirty thousand dollars. It's not cheap. You got to have some coin to pick one of these up. But it's more of a novelty product than a, a problem-solving product. It's this like fun little toy. It, it do you do kind of have to look at it like a toy. It doesn't have a lot of storage. It's not insanely fast, and it, it's only a two-seater. You're exposed. It's kind of your fun little weekend thing. But I got to say, over the time, we've had this thing for about two or three weeks. And I can honestly tell you guys, every single time anybody in the shop has taken this out, every one of them has come back smiling and enjoyed their time on it. This, it, it, and granted, yes, you're right. If you're probably saying to yourself, well, you guys didn't have to pay for it. You just, you know, you, you just got it sent to the shop and you get to play around with it. And you're right. You're 100% right. We did not have to put down 30 grand to have that fun time. But, dude, I got to tell you, every time I'm deciding what vehicle to take to work, it's like I got my motorcycles, I got my Jeep, and I got the slingshot. Bro, I'm picking the slingshot. 100%. I get all the comfort. I get all the comfort of just like sitting in a vehicle, but I also get the fun of like, you know, manual shifting. I get my exposure to the elements. I get all that stuff in a, in a very fun package. Also, everybody's looking at you and you can say how vain or not vain you are. You, you, there's a level of cool that you feel riding in, riding around in this. When people look at you, you're, they're all like, like they, they do this whole thing where their whole head snaps back. It's an eye-catching vehicle, and if you've got the extra money and you're looking for something fun to have in the garage, you're going to have a hard time finding something more fun for $30,000. You know, you're going to have to buy like a tiny little Porsche or something, or 
and maybe a little like Mazda Miata or something. You know, that is kind of the area I think this exists in. But even then, you're not exposed to the elements. You don't get to appreciate the world you're in. So, I don't know, man. I don't know how big the market is for this slingshot, but all I can say is from our experience, we have had a freaking ball with this thing. And uh, I'm going to ride the hell out of it until Slingshot or until Polaris takes it back. Uh, on that note, big shout out to Polaris for uh, giving us this for a little while. We got it for a few weeks. So I gotta gotta you know give a shout out to those guys that uh, they let us just ride this thing around and dog on it for a couple weeks. And guys, I'm Chase on Twist. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button. We make a ton of motorcycle content, and uh, even though this isn't technically motorcycles, but it's you know automotive. But uh, like I said, typically we're making motorcycle content. If you guys appreciated this video, make sure to hit that like button. That's how we know to keep making videos like this. So. That's all I got for you guys. I will see y'all on the next one as I sneeze and hopefully hit, yeah, don't hit a uh, orange cone. Wow. I, I did say we're out in the elements, right? I hope you guys ride safe and I'll see you on the next one. Later. All right, outro crew. Um, are you guys in the market? Are y'all one of the people that would put potentially buy a slingshot? Do you find this thing worth that $30,000 price? I really hope I don't hit one of these. I'm getting a little close. But you know what? How close can I get? All right, I got to stop. Yeah, outro crew, let me know uh, if the if this is something. Do you guys even, is this on your radar for something you're looking for? Let me know. I'm curious because, like, it's not for me. It's definitely not a vehicle I'll buy, at least at this point in my life. But I got to be honest that we've had a really good time on it. So that's something. All right. Make sure to put OC in your comments, guys. That's how we know you're in the outro crew. Love you guys a little bit longer, and we'll see you on the next one. Later.